Hey, good morning. It's uh, Jeff Wade here at StockIdeas.org, and today I want to show you how to find uh, the best penny stocks using the Google Stock Screener. So, uh, what we're going to do is just head over to google.com slash finance and click on the Stock Screener here on the left. Um, we're going to be looking at U.S. stocks um, across all exchanges today, and the first thing we're going to do, since we're looking for the best penny stocks, is add the price criteria. So we'll click Add Criteria here. Um, price, last price, add criteria. There you go. Uh, so now you're able to sort by price. Since we're looking at penny stocks, um, we're going to go ahead and limit this to stocks that are trading above $5. So you just hit 5 and then enter, um, and then that updates your screening criteria. So now we're in the world of, of penny stocks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more popular criteria um, just to limit things down to some of the best penny stocks. So I always like to make sure that you're not paying too much relative to book value. So uh, I'll look for stocks with a book value under one. Um, and you can see that we're narrowing down our criteria here. Um, I think, you know, for me, Right now, a $500 million market cap presents enough safety, but uh, keeps some stocks in the game. Um, in terms of P.E. ratio, I don't ever want to be paying too much. Uh, sorry about that. I don't want to ever be paying too much for uh, earnings, so a P.E. ratio of about 15 is probably um, where I want to be. And... Let's look for stocks that are doing okay this year. I don't want stocks that are at the you know showing a negative return uh, because we're looking for the best penny stocks. So you can see we're starting to uh, narrow down our field from twenty seven thousand to eleven hundred. Um, and again, you can use more of these uh, metrics if you want. Um, you know, forward PEs if you want to know a little bit more about dividend or some of these financial ratios. Um, book value per share is an interesting one. Cash per share is an interesting one. Uh, you know, if you want to have some penny stocks that have some cash on hand, uh, this is a good thing to see. Now, to make uh, looking through these indexes a little bit easier, I suggest that you narrow down by exchange. Uh, so let's look at the NASDAQ, um, and now you see we get a more useful uh, list. You know, when you have a thousand stocks, it's hard to, to look through fully. Um, when we just go to the NASDAQ, we have four stocks here uh, that meet our criteria. Although this PE of zero is a bit alarming, it probably means they're not making money. Um, but you can see, you know, okay, they have cash, price for, per book. Um, uh, up 50% this year, uh, and definitely a penny stock. So dry ships would be maybe one of the, the best penny stocks we would find here on this list today. Um, now we can go back up and just check out uh, if, we're, if there's anything on the New York Stock Exchange that meets our criteria. Uh, and here there's a little bit more, which is great. Uh, so, you know, we can just click on one of these fields at the top to sort. So you could sort by market cap, or you could sort by uh, price to book. Uh, so, you know, TC here is looking pretty interesting. Um, it's trading at 312, but has 312 in cash per share. So that might be a stock I want to dig down a little deeper on. Um, and again, since it's Google Finance, you can just right click and you'll see uh, everything come up here as as normal. the last price tab and then screen for penny stocks you can always change this you know maybe you want four dollar stocks um, there's really any degree of customization you want you can have here uh, especially when you're looking for penny stocks um, you might be interested in growth you might be interested in margins um, the the main thing I would recommend is that you know screen by price make sure you're not paying too much for earnings or book value uh, and then to make this usable, uh, I would just go ahead and screen by the NASDAQ and the NYSC one at a time um, so that you make sure you're getting liquid stocks and you make sure that, you know, it's just a bit more workable than looking at all exchanges at once. So I hope that this has helped you 
understand how you can use the, the Google Stock Screener to uh, find some penny stocks, um, you know, set these screens up, come back to them every day, uh, you know, and you're bound to find some great trading ideas. So for more stock screeners and analysis, check out my YouTube channel uh, or stockideas.org. Thanks very much for watching.